Asia's financial crisis dominated the two-day summit of European and Asian leaders who, in words at least, rejected protectionism. At the closing news conference, Britain's Prime Minister said the best way forward is to maintain open markets in both Europe and Asia. Perhaps the single most important thing that came out of, of, of our summit was the acceptance, I hope, from our Asian colleagues that Europe does remain engaged, will remain open, isn't going to become a fortress Europe, isn't going to close itself off, isn't going to turn its back on Asian problems. And the acceptance for our part in Europe that the economic fundamentals in Asia are strong and that the will exists there to make the necessary changes to bring stability for the long term. They also discussed crime, the environment and children's welfare. East Timorese a day earlier had demonstrated outside the British Embassy in Indonesia, angry that human rights wasn't a prominent issue on the agenda. Blair said human rights problems were not ignored. The Prime Minister of Portugal uh, raised the question of East Timor, as you would expect. Blair didn't elaborate, and the final communique made no explicit mention of human rights discussions. Finance and trade concerns were the pressing topics.